Well, you mentioned voting, and a lot of black people don't vote, and that's kind of a part of the problem. So in order to make changes, we have to put the people that are going to make those changes in positions to make those changes. The judicial system is old, it's set, it's not going nowhere, but we're going to have to do the work to change it on our end as well. So vote Harris. I think if we market those positions and the political parties like that to attract people to those positions, I feel like we get a lot more people, our people, in those roles and we make the decisions that we need. But I feel like we glorify different positions as a community and we don't look for those. So a lot of those get taken by people who aren't us. Mm -hmm. So I can see if, like, if we made those changes to put our people in those positions, we would get the results that we want. If you vote in your local areas, those are the people that can really make the changes that you want to see in the area around you. And then if we continue to grow, it'll get to presidential, but we can't start presidential. It's too big. And, and what timeline do you think you could put on that? For, for that effective change to stop, because we have black police, we have black lawyers, we have black uh, members of legislature, the Supreme Court, um, in the um, United Nations, right? The woman that raised her hand to, to say, "Don't, uh, don't cease fire in Gaza." Our people are in these positions, yet we're not getting any anything from it. So, at at what point is it going to begin to help us? Because it hasn't. And then ultimately, the people that control these organizations, this governmental system, are they us?